Hey everybody, it's Patrice with Trini Boutique. Um, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm basically just going to be showing you guys how to create custom doormat. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests today. And so I just wanted to come on really fast and show you a quick and easy way and show you exactly what I do um, to create my doormats. So um, for everybody that's new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back and let's get straight to it. So here I have my Silhouette Studio open. And I'm just going to do a basic design today. So um, my mat is just going to say Happy Easter. Before you get started, be sure that you come over here to your um, page setup panel. And you're going to size your cut area to um, whatever size doormat that you are painting. The doormat that I am use is normally an 18 by 30. So it's 18 inches um, tall or in height. And it is 30 inches wide. So I generally like to make my design pretty large so that you can actually read it and tell what it says. So we're going to do Happy Easter. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see. And the font that I'm using today is, forgive me if I don't say it right, but um, Amate Mora. You can download these fonts from um, thefont.com. It's generally where I get all of my fonts. And if you see right here, my letters don't really form to each other in a way to get them to form. Is you're just going to right click and you're going to weld. And that helps the letters to kind of flow with each other. And now I want to highlight each word individually so that I can um, resize each word by itself. I don't really like this space between the E and the A, so I'm going to move my E over just a tab. And then I'm going to highlight, right click, and group. Now I'm just going to resize both of my words. I generally, like I said, like to make my design pretty large so that it covers the entire area of my mat. It just looks better to me if the design is as big as it can go. So happy Easter. And I think that is about as big as we're gonna do. So the total design um, size is 15.7 by 24.4. So it's a little over 15 and a half. And it's a little, it's close. Let's go ahead and make the width 25, 24 and a half. Or we'll do 25. Let's go to 25. All right. So that we have that done, now we can go ahead and go to send and we're gonna cut this out on our silhouette or Cricut, if you're using a Cricut, um, I have a silhouette cameo. You do have to cut each word out individually. So what I normally do is you want to be sure that in your page setup panel as well that you're in um, uh, landscape mode so that when you insert your vinyl it cuts from this way and not this way so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out both words um, individually and then I will show you exactly what I do once I paint so stay tuned and I'll be back So I am back I have cut out my design and I didn't weed it. Excuse my fingernails, y'all. Don't pay attention to them. I need them done. <laughs> but I did not weed it because I wanted to show y'all exactly what to do. So in order to use this as a stencil, I use Oracle 651. I purchased this from my local vinyl store. And I normally will get it by the roll, like a um, five-yard or ten-yard roll, just because I use so much of it with my doormats and with my welcome signs. But... 
So I use Oracle 651 and you can't see it, but I have cut out my words. And instead of weeding on the outside, like you normally would do for like a decal, you want to take the letters out of the inside. So you want to peel these out like so. So that you see your design. Excuse my table, y'all. This is my workspace. So everything you see is hard work that I have put in. Um, but yeah, so we're going to take both words and we're just going to weave the inside of the word, not the outside. Design, you can see now that I have Happy Easter. So I'm going to show you guys how I put this on my mat. I also get this transfer tape from my local vinyl store as well. You can purchase it on Amazon. Um, and as you see, I've already used this on a couple doormats already. So you're just going to take this, place it on top of your design. And I'm going to cut this down, make it a little easier to deal with, to work with. You're going to press it in place. You want to be sure that every part of the design is stuck to the transfer tape. And what I normally do is peel it up from the back. Be careful because sometimes your design, if your design cuts kind of close to your paper, it'll be hard for these little pieces to come up. I don't know if you can see that. So you have to make sure that you're careful so that you don't rip your design. So just peel that backing away And you're just gonna place it and this is another another reason why I like to do my designs really big so you don't have to worry about um, centering your design because your design is gonna go on if it's huge then it's gonna fit your entire mat if it's small then you have to worry about measuring and adjusting and making it fit um, based on the size of mat that you're working with so I'm gonna press that down in place and then we're just going to start on one end and remove your transfer tape. I normally like to go in an upward and downward motion. So I'm going up and down. Up, down. To me, it just makes it easier to peel away the transfer tape if you're going at an angle. Alright, I have Happy on there. So what I generally use, I started out using acrylic paint and paint brushes and I found that um, it got to be really hard. My hands would start cramping up. Um, they would actually hurt from time to time just from that constant motion of painting the doormat. So I started using Flex Seal. I actually purchased this at Dollar General. They have these for $5 a can. And I can generally, depending on what type of design or how big my design is, I can generally get about three, four mats out of one can. 
So I'm just going to shake it up. And I think I may need another can. Let me just grab another one. You want to shake this really, really well before you use it. For this outer edge, what I normally do is I'll cut a piece of my backing or I'll just stick the backing under here so that I don't get the flex seal on the other part of my mat. Secure that in place. flex seal you're definitely going to want to put on gloves because the chemicals that you're using and you definitely want to be sure that you wear a mask so let me grab my mask y'all because I don't see mine all right so gloves and a mask the fumes will really take you out if you don't cover use some type of protective covering on your face so that you're not inhaling all of those the fumes from this split seal. All right, so we're gonna shake this up and generally with this side, I'll just kind of put my hand on it so that I don't get the residual flex seal on this side of my mat. I do wanna spray about maybe six inches away so that you don't get clumping of the spray in one spot. Can y'all see that pretty good? Alright. Missed the spot. And y'all probably hear my kids walking up soon when the bus just arrived. Now you can fill this up and discard that piece. And I'm going to take these pieces up. Discard those. I'm going to remove my gloves and put Easter on and then we're gonna finish that part of it. And there we have it. Happy Easter. So I hope that this video has helped y'all. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you know um, the next time that I post a video. Um, see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.